giving a basically a demand for uh, floor mats. Um, it's pretty much OSHA law. We've had a couple accidents. They should already have them, and they don't. So we're requesting to have them. Okay, so um, you're delivering this to the manager, or the, the owner. The manager, I, the the district manager is here as well. So it's probably going to go to him. Okay. Over the manager. Okay, and um, has this request been made before? Um, not that I know of. Okay. Not since I've been there. Okay. Is there anything else we should know about um, this campaign in general? Um, the fight for 15? Yeah. Um, well, Wendy's doesn't really care much for their employees, so um, this store is a big issue because it's where a lot of the bad stuff happens. And, um, they kind of try to push everything aside so they don't have to deal with it. But uh, I, of course, give them a hard time. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's why I'm here. So um, I do have to go into work shortly after this. So I'm a little bit nervous about this, but I know it's for a good cause and good reasons for the employees. So okay, we're ready to fight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks so much. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. When I awoke one morning, there was a feeling in the air. Everything was quiet, things are different everywhere. The wobblies were back again with Joe Hill at the mic. When all the minimum wage workers went on strike. Hi there. Yes. How are you doing? Good. I'm Chris Collin, the organizer of Metro Justice. Nice to meet you. What can okay. I do for you? Well, you know, we're going to make sure that are you, are you purchasing something? No, let's go outside. Here, Mike, let's, let's go outside. Two words to share. Leave my building or I'll call the police. Leave my building or I'll call the police. So you what you're have saying no is you're refusing to, to hear from the workers here? No, I said come outside. I'd be okay. glad to talk to you. but you're Just not. so everyone here sir, is aware, workers sir, in this particular store are organizing for a safe working environment. $15 an hour and a union for their, friend, their families, their co-workers. The management here has refused to acknowledge a basic request for anti-slip mats in the back wait, of the wait, store. Wait, wait. Excuse me. Who here that is, is a, a community? Lie. Who here is a community member in support that of these workers? Who here is a community sure member in support of these workers? We hope that you will uh, slip mats. What? Request of your workers. Uh, slip mats and cushion mats. Cushion mats and slip mats are important. This has to do with uh, with my is that a requirement. Yes. There's also OSHA requirements. requirements. Okay. I I will. I absolutely will. So as a number okay. of representatives of this community, Sir, we hope that you will start to outside. listen to the oh, needs oh, of your workers. Outside. Great. Absolutely. Anybody that's not here to purchase, please leave. Did you get my picture, honey? Yes, I did. All right, let me take another one. I'll give you a sub. Perfect. Okay. You can stay. You can stay. Okay. Hey, have a nice one. We'll see you in a couple hours. Wear, wear your work shoes, okay? Okay. Thank you. Appreciate your business. Come again. How you doing, buddy? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. We already got your face. Don't okay. worry. Okay. I don't care. I know what I look like. You coming out? Huh? I hold the door for you. Coming out? What do you need now? Well, you said you were going to come out. You wanted to, you oh, wanted to continue the discussion outside, so I just hold the door for you. What discussion do you want to have? When, when do you intend to install anti slip mats and ergonomic mats in your store? I will have to talk to my bosses and find out what the requirements are by the law, and I, we will comply. The minimum requirements we by have, the law are all that you intend to do. We have aggregate in our floors and the kitchens. We believe we are under compliance, but I will certainly look into it because it is a concern. And do you intend if to it's respond a concern to the workers by December 12th? I, I don't know who the workers are. What are you talking I mean, it's, it's, a, not, it's a very well, vague letter. That, that it's a I'm very sure. vague letter that you handed me. There's no names on it, so who do I talk to? Is it all my workers? One of my workers, ten of my workers. Who am I supposed to address this with? The ones you're concerned about. Okay. Well, hey, I, I've got that list. I can certainly talk to them. They they can come to me at any time. They know that I have an open door policy. They just did. Okay. Well, who's they? Who just did? Who just did? I don't recognize anybody. Did you not just talk to a worker inside? Yeah, she's one of my workers. So she brought that concern to you, and you dismissed it with her. Did you not? No, I did not. I I took it from her. And I said, I'll see you at 5 o'clock when you're scheduled to work. What am I supposed to do? Stop everything right then and there and sit down and have a discussion? I have a business to run. Yeah, talk Thank talk you very to much. Have a great day. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Welcome to my world, guys. That's what I deal with. 
Can he is a jerk. Retaliate? He's a jerk. <laughs> He's a jerk. And I'm pretty this sure I will be pulled into the office. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, hey, thanks everyone for coming out. Kim, thanks so much for delivering that letter. I'm glad you were there. Woo! 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 Yeah. Do you think we, do you think we made it? Did we make an acceptable amount of noise in there? Yeah. Fantastic. Okay. So if anything happens today, remember we're going to be calling this store. In the case that anything happens to Kim today, we're going to be bombarding them with phone calls to make sure that nothing happens, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Okay. Everyone, thanks so much for coming out. Let's, uh, let's, let's get into some warm. Uh, and, uh, and, and hopefully you'll hear from us. Uh, hopefully you won't hear from us soon. And you'll hear from us soon on, on updates on this sort of time. There Thank you, guys. No one Thank you, Kim. In gasoline. No one driving from town to town. No one at the registers, all the highways were shut down. The cars were stuck in the garage. CEOs on bikes when all the minimum wage workers went on strike. There was no one flipping burgers.